Hey everyone, welcome to The Daily. Greg Lawless and Simon Borg. And uh, what a day for you guys today with all the rumors that are flying around. It looks like it's going to be Brazilian day for MLS right now. First of all, Kaká from Real Madrid. He scores a goal in the Champions League and then he starts talking about the LA Galaxy. There have been rumors around. Simon, what's going on with this? Well, the rumors, Greg, are big enough that they're asking him about it after Champions League games. And to me, uh, I think there's something here. I mean, we know there's something there because Tim Laiwiki, uh, who heads up AEG, owners of the LA Galaxy, admitted as much before mm -hmm. MLS Cup. But uh, when the player speaks in these terms, and we've heard players speak before, and these are the words that Kaká used. I keep doing my work to remain at Madrid, then we can see what happens and what the club wants. It is not a comfortable situation for the club or me. But here's the key. I will go if I have an agreement with the club. When a player speaks in those terms to me, he leaves the door wide open. Come get me, is what Kaká is saying. Yeah, he is. I mean, we, we have heard numbers floating around there in the whispers, and it seems like it would be a very expensive deal for him to come over. There's also an expensive deal for another Brazilian who may be coming to MLS, at least the reports out of Brazil via Spain are saying that maybe Luis Fabiano, the Brazilian striker, uh, is headed to DC United. Which is fasc a fascinating thought, because Luis Fabiano, I think many people would believe, a great addition to Major League Soccer. He reminds me a lot of Robbie Keane in terms of those movements he makes, those runs uh, that, 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 that he can make, and DC are desperate for that. I mean, we know how poor they were at forward this year. It arguably cost them a spot in MLS Cup. They did renew Leonard Pahoy. He's coming back, the Colombian, uh, but Hamdi Salihi, they, they're looking to, to show him the door. They're trying to figure out a solution because he is under contract for 2013. So with Salihi out the door, Luis Fabiano would be unbelievable. The issue is, contract through 2015 and a hefty transfer fee with Sao Paulo. Yeah, reported that it's a 7 million euro transfer fee just to get Luis Fabiano. So we'll see if someone's willing to uh, open up the bank account to get that done. Lots of Brazilians maybe flowing their way into MLS. All right, we're going to stay in Europe. Now, we heard Kaká scoring for Real Madrid in the Champions League. There was also an American affair in the Champions League on Tuesday. Malaga taking on Anderlecht. That means it's Oguchi Onyewu taking on Sasha Kleshin. It ended 2-2, two to two and it got us thinking about these two players, who are right now kind of on the fringes of Jurgen Klinsmann's national team. So this is a question that we have for you guys out there. Which of these two players deserves that chance to become that regular starter for the national team? On Yewu or Question? Let us know in the comments below here. But Simon, I'm going to ask you, which one of these guys do you think should be called in and said, hey, you have a chance now to be the man? Greg, although Question has been getting the call-ups lately, uh, I believe he will continue to remain maybe third, uh, on the third tier of midfielders that Jurgen Klinsmann turns to. Um, so he has a long way to go before he breaks into the starting lineup, in my opinion. Oguchenyu has more of a shot, even though it seems like forever that he's been called up into, by, by Jurgen Klinsmann. Why? Because central defense, to me, remains a big issue on the national team. I would say the most pressing issue. Now, fullback is taken care of. Usually that was yep, the yep, one we all worried here. about, uh, but those are taken care of. Center back, Jeff Cameron, he's playing right back at Stoke. Carlos Bocanegra, injured, he's getting up there in the years. Uh, Maurice Adu is not really playing at center back, so who are your options there? Clarence Goodson has an inspired confidence, so I think Oguchi Onyewu, with a couple of good performances at Malaga, and he had a good performance yeah, against yeah, Anderlecht, yeah. I think he can get the call and possibly uh, have a go at, at taking one of those spots. Well, that's our question for you as well. Question or Onyewu, which one deserves that chance with the national team to really become a solid starter? Okay, last big thing we need to get to today, Simon. The New York Stadium. The new stadium that's going to be out in Flushing Meadow Park in Queens in New York. There was a town hall meeting last night. You were there. You, what happened? Yeah, Greg, this was the first time. We've heard Don Garber and Mark Abbott, the president of Major League Soccer, the commissioner, speak to the media mm -hmm. about this project. This is the first time we saw uh, the presentation made to the people, to the fans, to the people of Queens. It was a Queens fest at this thing. Don Garber talking of talking up the fact that he's from Queens. Fernando Fiore, who hosted it, talking about the fact that he worked in Queens. Uh, and you could see the pride of Queens in the people who were there. Um, and they laid out the project, a lot of support for it. Um, you know, people had their usual questions. What's going to happen with parking? Where's park space uh, going to go? Because it's going to be replaced uh, when that stadium is built in Flushing. Meadows Park. So it was interesting. It was great to see, Greg, the Borough Boys. It 
was my first taste of the Borough Boys in action. This is a group that's been around now for a few yeah. years that haven't had a team really to root for. Um, and so it was, it gave me, it, I had images of the Sons of Ben here in that lead up to Philadelphia. I think these guys will be the same uh, for this new year. Well, the Borough Boys have, have been around for several years. I've had lots of interactions with them over the years at various events in New York City. So. They're certainly supportive of a second team in New York. Uh, Major League Soccer supportive of that as well. And it seems like maybe the community is starting to rally around. You did mention there were some protesters outside, but that's to be expected anytime you're discussing park space and public land. If there's one nugget, Greg, that the commissioner shared that I would think is new, it's going to be a 25,000 seater, mm. expandable to 35,000 over the next 30 years, he says. Uh, and that's without having to raise the roof or do anything to the structure. So that was an interesting nugget. Well, there's some news about New York 2, as some people are calling it. Uh, the new team in New York that is expected to join MLS sometime in the future. Make sure you stick around for more news over this. I think over the next couple of months, more is going to be coming out about this second team in New York. That's it for The Daily. We'll talk to you tomorrow.